In this section, we are going to understand the factory pattern suggested by solidity. So, if you write a smart contract, let's say for a factory, right? Let's call it factory dot sol, right? What is a factory? Let's say Toyota or let's say Yamaha uh, that creates four wheelers, two wheelers, or whatever, right? So a factory, uh, it's like a manufacturing plant for which you are writing a contract. So I'll say Pragma Solidity 0 0.6.12, right? I'll call this the factory itself, right? And what this is going to do is every time it creates a new, uh, you know, bike or let's say a car or whatever, it's going to create a new contract because every bike might have a new owner and it might uh, have insurance they might want to transfer the ownership of that four wheeler or two wheeler to some other person later all of these things uh, is required to be in a separate contract you know logically speaking and that's why i want to create a new contract every time i do this so what i can do is i'll create a contract car right let me call this toyota right and contract car so what I'm saying is we'll have a function of let's say manufacture. Of course, it will have much more things. I'm just bringing it down bare bones so that we understand the factory pattern and focus on that pattern rather than, you know, going around all of creating the struct for a car and things like that. Okay. So function manufacture public within this, it's going to do new car, right? So this is going to deploy this uh, car contract okay the problem with doing this is that after one year okay if you ask uh, uh, hey toyota what all contracts have you deployed till now which means what all cars have you created till now right this contract called as toyota does not have any record of it of course you can do it you can store the all the contract addresses that is coming out of this into a database but that's not the secure way to do it right we know databases are centralized and can be hacked tampered anything can be done there that is why solidity suggests that you store all the contract addresses created in this fashion right inside the contract itself okay how can you do that let me create a car array right it will be a dynamic array because we don't know how many cars we are going to create public and let it be cars manufactured right this way so what you can do is whenever you create a new car you can say cars manufactured dot push the new car right so once you do this what's going to happen is uh, as soon as the new contract has been created right you are pushing that into cars manufactured array right when you do this after some time, let's say six months, one year, six years, ten years, whenever you ask, Toyota will be able to pull all the cars that it has uh, created or manufactured and it will be able to give you the output, right? So that's the advantage of creating something called as factory pattern. So remember, factory pattern says always have a record of the contracts that are being deployed from a parent contract so that you don't lose the traceability of anything. So just to test it out we'll de deploy this toyota contract right and within toyota i'm gonna create one car uh, manufacture right which means one car has been created again second car manufactured third car manufactured okay so here if you go to car manufactured of zero you'll find this is the first car this is the second car and this is the third car i've created so this is how you need to do the traceability. So you might think that this is so basic and uh, uh, not so you know, uh, advanced in terms of concept to create it as a design pattern and everything. The problem is there were developers who forgot this in the beginning when they were writing these kind of contracts. That's the reason uh, Solidity came up with design patterns and told, you know, d uh, many developers are forgetting this. Please, you don't do it right and as part of this uh, workshop and master class you need to be aware of all the design patterns that needs to be used so you prove yourself to be a better developer and don't forget these things right 
so in the next section we'll see another design pattern and with this we complete the factory pattern design